and welcome to Nyam Nyam. We're going to be making fruit macaroons. Yes, macaroons which look like pieces of fruit. Starting with 100 grams of almond flour and 100 grams of icing sugar. Sift those into a bowl and mix them up. Just pop that aside and it's time to make our macaroon mixture with two egg whites and a pinch of salt. We're using an electric whisk for this one. We want it to be white and frothy. And then we're going to start adding 55 grams of caster sugar into that a bit at a time. We want to give it a good whisk after each addition and get the consistency very nice and smooth and glossy with stiff peaks. Once that's done, we add in our flour and caster sugar mixture. Mix it with the spatula till it's perfectly combined. Right, that is ready for some colouring. We're going to add some food dye to make it yellow. Pop that into a food piping bag and just pipe it onto some baking paper on a baking tray. Our macaroon shapes there, bake them for seven to eight minutes at 140 degrees with the oven door open and then repeat with the oven door closed. Once they are ready, let them cool and it's time to decorate. We're filling them with buttercream frosting and then we're piping on some royal icing to decorate. Using fondant icing for the leaves. Did you guess what fruit this is? You guessed it! It's a pineapple! Awesome! Brilliant! Right, let's do another one! We're using two different colours this time, so it's the same mixture, but we're doing red and green. In the same way, we're going to bake those for seven to eight minutes with the oven door open and then shut. And allow them to cool once they're ready. Fill them once again with buttercream frosting. Now this time, we're using some edible paint to paint on some seeds for our watermelon. Yes! What shall we do next? Hmm. I have a great idea. Let's do a kiwi. So we're using green and yellow, mixing them up a little bit. And they're ready to cool. How about some buttercream icing? Now let's use our edible paint once again to paint on some seeds. A few more. And there you have it. Awesome. Finally, we're going to do some strawberries. So these are going to be piped on in a slightly different shape. Perfectly baked, cooled down and ready to decorate with buttercream frosting. some fondant icing for the leaves. Stick that on. And then use some writing icing for the seeds. There you have it. Pineapple, watermelon, kiwi, and strawberries. Join us next time for more recipes with Nyam Nyam. Hello and welcome to Nyam Nyam. Let's melt some white chocolate. Ooh, let's get some sprinkles and an ice cream cone. Dip it and coat it. Amazing. Let's fill it with white chocolate in the bottom. Chill it. Meanwhile, get a mixing bowl and mix together 600 milliliters of whipping cream with 350 milliliters of sweetened condensed milk. Add a teaspoon of bubblegum flavoring and a teaspoon of purple food dye. Ooh, nicely whisked together there. Right, we're going to add some popping candy for a nice surprise. Do you know what we're making? We're making fruit salad ice cream cones. Let's fill it. Awesome, put that in a jar and freeze it. Time to decorate with some fruit, dipped in white chocolate, of course. Any seasonal fruit will do. We've got a lovely array of colours here for you. Let's 
do a different one now, using milk chocolate and chocolate sprinkles. Same kind of process. Mixing together your whipping cream and your sweetened condensed milk once again. Let's add in some lemon flavouring this time. And some yellow food colouring. Some marshmallows going into that one. Ooh, delicious. Let's spoon it into our cone. Lemon and chocolate. Who would have thought? Stick it in your jar. Freeze it. And decorate. Chop nuts on top there too. Very nutritious. So there you go. Fruit salad ice cream cones. Pretty healthy too. Ooh, delicious. Kids are going to love them. Go on, give it a go with Nyam Nyam. Hello and welcome to Nyam Nyam. We've got a fantastic fruit donut burger recipe for you today. Just grab a donut and cut it in half. Right, we're going to get a pan, put it on the stove and smash up 450 grams of strawberries. Get your anger out. Brilliant. Add 400 grams of caster sugar to that, two tablespoons of lemon juice. Mix it up, heating it all the while. Once that's ready, you can take it off the stove and pour it into a jar. Store that in a cool, dry place. Meanwhile, let's get some fruit. We're using a pineapple. Slice off the ends. And the skin. And make some thick slices. Using a large cookie cutter to cut out circles. Now we're getting a kiwi. We're going to do exactly the same with this. Unless you want to eat the skin, of course, which you can, by the way. Time for a strawberry. Chop off the leaves. And slice, long ways. Get the bottom half of your donut. Spread on some of your lovely homemade jam. You can always buy it from the store if you're feeling lazy. And stick on your fruit. So colourful and delicious. Next we're going to melt some milk chocolate buttons and just drizzle it on. Put the top of your donut on. And there you have it. A delicious fruit donut burger. You can use all different varieties of donut. You can even make your own. Go on, try one. Don't forget to join us next time for more fantastic recipes with Nyam Nyam. Welcome to Nyam Nyam. Let's make some frozen yogurt cupcakes, starting with strawberry flavour. So slice up some strawberries. Stick them in a blender. Add some natural yoghurt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Then simply blend. Now fill a couple of cupcake holders with this mixture and keep aside. Next, chop up some green apple. Add them to a blender with some blueberries and some yoghurt. Great! Our second flavour is ready! Spoon those into two of the cupcake holders. Now for our third and final flavour, we're going to use a banana. So chop it up. Stick it in a blender. Add some natural yoghurt and one teaspoon of honey and blend it up.
and spoon it into your final cupcake moulds. Now all we need to do is freeze it. Once it's frozen, we're going to top it using Nutella or chocolate ganache. Then simply decorate by topping it with some delicious fresh fruit. That way you can identify the flavour underneath. Brilliant! What a great snack! Enjoy! We're going to be showing you some easy summer banana snacks, starting with banana froyo. Begin by slicing a banana and then we're going to blend it with natural yoghurt and a teaspoon of honey. Blend it until you achieve a smooth consistency. Excellent! Now pour the mixture into a container. Seal the lid on tightly, don't forget to label it, and put it in the freezer to set. Once it's frozen, you can just scoop out the mixture as you would ice cream, put it in a bowl and garnish with a flake and more slices of fresh banana. There your delightful banana froyo is ready to enjoy! Now for banana peanut butter cups. In a cupcake mould, create a base layer by adding melted chocolate. Place slices of banana on top of the chocolate and add a dollop of peanut butter, another layer of banana slices and another layer of chocolate. And freeze the mixture to set it. When it's ready, we're going to top each cup with a generous dollop of Nutella, some chopped nuts, candy melts and additional banana slices. And there, your banana peanut butter cups are ready to be relished. Now for a waffle bowl with banana and chocolate. In a mixing bowl, combine 100 grams of caster sugar with two eggs. Whisk thoroughly until well combined. Then add 85 grams of plain flour. Mix it up. Add one teaspoon of vanilla essence, 60 milliliters of milk, and four tablespoons of melted butter. Whisk until it forms a smooth batter. Spoon that into your waffle machine and make your waffles. Once ready, while they are still warm, gently shape them into a bowl shape. Then dip the edges of the waffle bowl into melted chocolate, yum yum! And then into rainbow sprinkles for a colourful and flavourful rim. Fill the waffle bowl with whipped cream, chopped nuts and top it with slices of fresh banana. Your scrumptious waffle bowl with banana and chocolate is ready to be savoured. These improved instructions should enhance the experience of enjoying these yum yum treats. Mm -hmm.